It's spring. All the flowers are blooming, filling everything around us with vibrant, rich colors. Today, I want to show you the numbers hidden in our garden. Welcome back to Math Digest. First, we need to write down some simple numbers. Write down a zero, then a one. Now add these together. You get one. Now add one and one together. Continue adding your newest number to the number before. What you'll observe is that not only do you never come to an end, but you're also starting to write down a sequence. This is the Fibonacci sequence. It is made up of the so-called Fibonacci numbers, which are commonly denoted as Fn. Fn equals Fn minus 1 plus Fn minus 2 when n is greater than 1 can be used to calculate the number that comes next in the sequence. This sequence is named after Leonardo of Pisa, an Italian mathematician who published the beginning of the sequence in 1202, although traces of the sequence date as far back as 1000 years before. The presence of Fibonacci numbers in nature was discovered around the year 1619 by Johannes Kepler. The simplest example is the daisy. Almost always the number of petals is a Fibonacci number. Daisies commonly have 34, 55 or 89 petals. Find a flower in your garden and count its petals. It most probably will be a Fibonacci number. If you look at the seed head of a flower, you might also find Fibonacci numbers. The seeds are arranged in spirals, which go in two directions. If you count the number of spirals in each direction, you will find that they almost always are neighboring Fibonacci numbers. And these spirals are called Fibonacci spirals. Let's create a Fibonacci spiral. Draw a square that has the side length of 1. Next to this, draw a square that has the side length of the next Fibonacci number, which is 1. Then, under these two squares, draw a square with the side length 2. Continue drawing squares with the next numbers of the Fibonacci sequence as side length, making these squares wrap around the existing squares. Starting from the first square, diagonally draw a curved line through each square that you just drew. Once you've drawn a line through your last square, you're done. Fibonacci spirals can also be found in other places, like in galaxies and in shells. Not all quantities in nature are Fibonacci numbers. You will always be able to find an exception to the rule. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and give this video a like. If you have any ideas for future videos, leave them in the comment section below. See you next time at Math Digest.